بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویڈیو لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی ٹو دس از دی لاسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر آپ چیپٹر نمبر ایٹ لاسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر آف چیپٹر نمبر ایٹ ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دی ٹاپک دیٹ از فائنڈنگ پوائنٹ آف انٹرسیکشنس when intersection occur between a linear function and coordinate axis mean let's say these are your this is your x y plane now in this x y plane if we draw a graph of a linear function so we already know that graph of a linear function is a straight line so let's say the graph of a linear function which is a straight line so let's say this is our straight line which is the graph of the linear function what is this this is the graph of a linear function uh, the general form of a linear function is f of x is equal to m x plus b where m is not equal to 0 or you can also write f of x is equal to a x plus b where a is not equal to 0 where m and b are the constants okay and b is also non equal to 0 because this is non homogeneous line so we are finding we are interested to find out the intersection which occurs between the graph of the linear function and the coordinate axis coordinate axis mean x axis and y axis and y axis so you clearly see that the graph of a linear function which is a straight line intersect the x axis at this point and y axis at this point so this is the interaction between this is the intersection between the graph of a linear function and the coordinate axis so we will find out these point of intersection but actually you see that these point of intersection are the x intercept and the y intercepts mean these are the intercepts so whenever graph of a linear function uh, are you can say straight line intersect the coordinate axis so those coordinate axis are actually intercepts mean x intercept and y intercept you clearly see that this is x intercept and this point is y intercept you see that okay now so this is our past topic in this video lecture after that we will discuss the uh, okay and we will find these intercept graphically we will not use the analytic method to find x intercept and y intersect we will find out these point of intersections which are actual x intercept and y intersect graphically so remember that point finding the point of intersections from the graphs when uh, the graphs intersects so in this case when the graph of a linear function intersect the coordinate axis so you get the x intercept and y intersect but here we will find these intercept graphically not analytically similarly then point of intersection of two linear functions so we will draw the graph of two linear function so you know that graph of two linear function mean two straight lines because the graph of a linear function is a straight line so when we draw two straight line in a single rectangular coordinate plane so we will check the point of intersection mean at which point both the line intersect let's say this is one linear function and let's say this is another linear function and this is point of intersection let's say this point having coordinate a b let's say so 
this point AB you clearly see that is the point of intersection of the graphs of two linear function because this is the graph of one linear function and this is the graph of another linear function. So in the second part of this video lecture we are interested to find out the point of intersection of two linear functions graphically mean you need to draw the graph of two linear function and then find out the point of intersection by looking to the graph it mean that at which point both the straight lines intersect each other here one point must be remember we already know that a point which lies on the graph of a function will always satisfies that function so if this is the point which lies on both the graphs mean the point of intersection so that will be actually solution for the given two linear function that must be the solution it must satisfy both the linear functions because it lies on the graph of both linear functions so in other words when you are finding the uh, point of intersection of two different graphs so from that point of intersection you can get the solution of that equations so point of intersection is actually the solution we can explain we can a little more explain that point in the examples and third find the point of intersection of linear function and quadratic function so let's say this is a rectangular coordinate plane and when in this rectangular coordinate plane the graph of a quadratic function is parabola let's say this is the graph this is the parabola let's say now this is the graph of the quadratic function and then the graph let's say this is the graph of the linear function let's say this is the linear function so you see that this is the point of intersection and this is the point of intersection so you need to find out the point of intersection of the linear function this is your linear function means straight line actually the graph of a linear function and this is a quadratic function because the graph of uh, quadratic function are always parabola so we are finding in third part of this video lecture the point of intersection when uh, the, uh, a linear and quadratic function intersect each other at some points so you see that this point of intersection this point also lie on the line as well as on the parabola so this point will also satisfy the equation of uh, linear the equation of the straight line as well as the equation of parabola and this point will also satisfy the equation of a line and the equation of the parabola so actually the point of intersection is the solution of those equation remember remember this point let's say this is the graph of some function it may be any function y is equal to f of x may be any function and let's say this is the graph of that function on this interval a b this is the domain let's say the restricted domain so let's say if this is a point which lies on the graph of this function so this point always satisfies this equation mean this point will be the solution of this equation what does mean the solution solution mean those values of the variable which satisfies the original equation so if this point lies on the graph of this function f of x so this point has two coordinate let's say the distance on x axis is a unit and the distance on the y axis is b unit so when you plug y equal to b and x equal to a in the equation that equation must be satisfied on on this value because this point lies on the graph of the function remember that point so if you see to the point of intersection point of intersection is actually the point which lies on both the graphs so that point simultaneously will satisfy both the equation so when you are finding the point of intersections actually you obtain the solution so this is another method and this method is more 
uh, applicable because let's say if we have two equations and you are not able to solve those equation analytically let's say we have an equation of the uh, having uh, degree let's say 10 10 x uh, x power 10 7 x plus 13 equal to 0 and let's say we have another equation having degree more than 10 so what we can do let's say the another equation is uh, we have uh, f of x is equal to one function is this and another function is let's say x power 11 7 x plus 19 so how you can solve these two equations how you can get the solution mean so the solution in this case analytically is not possible so we will draw the graphs of these function and the point at which the graphs of these function intersect so that point lies on the graph of the both function so that's why that point will satisfy both the equation and from there you get the solution so that's why Point, finding the point of intersections when the graphs of different functions intersect is so important and usually we can uh, done this process by computer we use this mathematical software which is known as MATLAB I already explained in chapter 2 about this software a little bit so this is the topic of this video lecture uh, these three points will be discussed one by one with examples. This is the last video lecture, a little lengthy lecture, but please watch uh, this and uh, then do the assignments as I will uh, give you later in this video. Okay, so moving towards the first. The first one is intersection occurs between, okay moving towards this intersection occurs between a line a linear function and coordinate axis okay so you clearly see that this is the x axis this is y axis so this is your coordinate axis x axis and y axis is your coordinate axis this is your rectangular coordinate system in which a line l is drawn and that line L intersect the x axis at a point A0 and y axis at a point 0B. Mean this line L, this line which is named is L intersect the x axis at this point and y axis at this point. So the x intercept is this and this is your y intercept. So actually you see that these are the point of intersection of a linear function and coordinate axis straight line is actually the graph of the linear function and the point of intersection at x axis and y axis is actually the point of intersection of the coordinate axis with the graph of the linear function so you see that if a line l intersect the x axis at a point a0 the number a is called the x intercept this number a which is the distance on x axis from origin to that point so this point a is called x intercept of the line l and if the line l as you see in the graph intersect the y axis at a point 0 b the number b the number b which is actually a vertical distance from origin to this point is called the y intercept of the line l okay note the graph of a linear function this is the general form of a linear function where a must not be equal to zero because when a equal to become zero so that will not remain a linear it become a constant function where a b belongs to set of real number actually graphically this linear function represent a straight line so the straight line where intersect the coordinate axis x axis and y axis are x intercept and y intercept i explain this point now coming towards the example an example is taken from exercise 8.3 that is question number 5 of exercise 8.3 
In exercise 8.3, question number 5 says, point, uh, uh, sorry, find the point of intersection. You are interested to find out the point of intersection. Graphically, mean, you need to draw the graph. You didn't do this by analytic way. You need to draw the graph of the following linear function with coordinate axis. What does it mean? It means that you need to find the point of intersection of this function with the coordinate axis. Actually, it means that you need to find out the x intercept and the y intercept. So, if you need to find x intercept and y intercept analytically, so it's so easy because this is the function if f x is equal to x minus 3, this can be written as y is equal to x minus 3. So, for x intercept, put x equal to y equal to 0, you will get x is equal to minus 3. So, x intercept is minus 3, 0. And for y intercept, put x equal to 0. So, you will get y equal to, uh, you will get, sorry, when y is 0, so x is plus 3. When y is equal to 0, so x is plus 3. When x is equal to 0, so y is equal to minus 3. So, 0 minus 3 is the y-intercept. So, you see that this will be the point of intersection of the graph of this function with the coordinate axis. You clearly get. But, we will not use this analytic method. We will use graphical method because in question, you see that you need to find the point of intersection graphically of this function with the coordinate axis. So, the meaning of this, you need to find out the x-intercept and y-intercept graphically, not analytically. Analytically, we put x equal to 0 to get y-intercept and y equal to 0 to get x-intercept. But you will do here graphically and you will draw the graph and in graph, you will show that this is my x intercept and this is my y intercept and those x intercept and y intercept will be the point of intersection of the linear function with the coordinate axis. So that is the uh, idea in this question and similarly part this this is the another part you need to draw the graph of this function and you will uh, find graphically that uh, where the graph of this function intersect the x-axis and y-axis, mean x-intercept and y-intercept, but graphically. So, target is finding the point of intersection graphically between the given linear function and the coordinate axis. So, for that, we need to construct a table by giving some values to x. This is your given function. In this function, gives some values to x gives some values to x from the domain you know the domain of the linear functions is set of real number so from the set of real number gave some values to x and calculate the values of y but remember you are interested to find out the point where the graph of the linear function intersect the coordinate axis. It means you need to find out the x-intercept and y-intercept. So, give the values of x in such a way that you get x-intercept and y-intercept from the table. So, you see that I gave the value of x minus 1 in here. So, when you put minus 1 here, so the value of the y, the a is y is equal to x minus 3. So, when you plug x is equal to minus 1, the value of the y will be minus 4. When you plug 0, so you will get minus 3. So, this 0 minus 3 added fair is your y intercept. Then plug x equal to 1, so you will get minus 2 plug x equal to 2, so you will get minus 1, plug x equal to 3, so you will get 0. So, this 3, 0 will be your x-intercept. Then plug 4, 
you will get 1 plug 5 you will get 2 so plot this point minus 1 4 ordered fair is this then plot 0 3 ordered fair this is 0 minus 3 ordered fair which is your x uh, uh, sorry y intercept okay then plot ordered fair 1 minus 2 so this is 1 minus 2 then plot ordered fair 2 minus 1 so this is ordered the point which having ordered fair 2 minus 1 then plot 3 0 so the point 3 0 is actually lying on the x axis so this is your x intercept then plot 4 1 in plot 5 2 but you can plot so many points as you want but actually we are looking for the uh, intersection uh, that the graph of a linear function uh, intersect the coordinate axis so actually we are interested in x intercept and y intercept so for us these two points are important so you see graphically this is my y intercept and this is my x intercept so from this graph looking to this graph we can say that the graph intersect the x axis at x equal to 3 and y axis at y equal to minus 3 so this these are the point of intersection of a linear function and coordinate axis x axis and y axis collectively called coordinate axis so you see that you find the point of intersection looking to the graph of the function in the coordinate axis so you see you know that finding x intercept and y intercept is not a big deal but in, uh, here you will not do the method which is uh, analytic method you will do graphically because it is mentioned in the question okay now if I uh, do example number two so what we can do now this is the example uh, two question five for two of exercise 8.3 find the point of intersection graphically when the graph of this linear function intersect the coordinate axis so this is my linear function we know the domain of the linear function is the set of real numbers so we gave some values to x from the set of real numbers using this equation number one in the form y equal to 2x plus 1 we get the values of y we get the values of y and then we will plot those ordered fares in the plane and pass a line but remember in the table you need to give such values to x from r in which you get the x intercept and y intercept because the intersection of the linear function and coordinate axis is actually x intercept and y intercept same explanation so i gave the value of x minus 1 in here so you get minus 1 when you plug minus 1 by 2 you get 0 so this is my x intercept then i put 0 here so i get uh, 1 so this is my y intercept then you put 1 you will get 3 you put 2 you will get 5 you get 3 in place of x here you will get 7 and if you want to plot some other points so give some values to x from the set of real number you will get the value of y and from that x and y value you can make an ordered fair and you plot that ordered fair and pass a straight line from that so uh, our goal will be obtained will be achieved from these two so now i am plotting these this is one minus one point i am plotted here now this is the point which is minus one by two zero so this is my x intercept then i plot one zero which is my y intercept then i plot one three then i plot two five then i plot three seven and pass a straight line so this is the graph of the linear function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and you clearly see from this graph that the x intercept 
is x is equal to minus 1 by 2 and the y intercept is y equal to 1. So from this graph you clearly see the point of intersection. This is the point of intersection of the graph of a linear function with coordinate axis. So you can see it graphically. So this is the method. Now okay, this is the first part of this video lecture. Now moving towards the second part. The second part is need to find out the point of intersection of two linear function. If you point of intersection point of intersection of two linear functions. Okay. Now the second part of this video lecture is point of intersection of two linear functions. So to draw the graph of two linear functions mean those graphs must be two straight lines in one rectangular coordinate plane in one rectangular coordinate plane from the graph determine the point of intersection means if we take one rectangular coordinate system mean one xy plane and draw two lines you see so actually these two lines represent two linear functions and their point of intersection is this so this point of intersection lies on the graph of both the functions. So that point of intersection is actually the solution for both the equations because it lies on the graph. And whenever a point lies in on the graph of any function, so that point will satisfy that function. Remember this point. So uh, we are interested to find out the point of intersection of two linear functions. So in other words, when you find the point of intersection of two linear functions, so from that you get the solution of those two linear functions. So the point of intersection is actually the solution. So I explain this point whenever we have 2, 3, 10, 20 equations and we are interested to find out their solutions and we are unable to solve them analytically so we draw the graphs using computer and look to the graphs pick the point of intersections and those point of intersections are actually the solution of those equations so that's why this topic is so important topic okay so this will be explained from the following example if you see to the example in this example uh, I am take this these two linear function I am sketching the graph of these two linear functions f of x is equal to x plus 3 is a linear function g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 is a linear function okay so the graph of these two linear function are straight lines so I will draw a straight line for this mean the graph of this function then I will draw the graph of this function and I will look to the graphs that where two lines intersect each other. So the point at which the graphs of these linear function intersect each other will be a point lies on both the graphs and that point will satisfy both these equation. Clear? So, for this function, I will make a table and plot the ordered pairs from that table in xy plane and draw a straight line from there. So, you see that if f x is equal to x plus 3, x belongs to R, we have to calculate the values of y by giving some values to x from the set of real numbers using this form of the function y is equal to x plus 3. You know from the beginning of this chapter that y equal to f of x. You can write f of x or y both uh, you can. So when I plug x equal to minus 2 so I get 1. When I plug here x equal to minus 1 I get 2 when I plug 0 I get 3 when I plug here 1 I will get 4 when I plug 2 I will get 5 when I replace x by 3 I will get 6 so plot this point okay so this is the table 
for this function now i am going to construct a table for the second function so you see here g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 this is a linear function domain is this is a real number to calculate the values of y give some values to x from r mean from the domain using this form of the function of the given function so when i plug minus 2 in this function i get minus 3 when i plug minus 1 here i get minus 1 when i plug 0 here i will get 1 when i plug 1 i will get 3 when i plug 2 i will get 5 when i get uh, put 3 here i will get 7 so you see that this point and this point you see in this function when you plug 2 you will get 5 and in this function when you plug 2 you will get 5 so this is the ordered pair 2 5 and this is also the ordered pair 2 5 and ordered pairs are actually the point in the plane so from this point the graph of this function as well as the graph of this function will pass so that is the point of intersection and that is the solution of this of, of both these functions both the functions are y is equal to x plus 3 and another function is y is equal to 2x plus 1 so in both these functions in both these equation if i replace x by 2 and y by 5 so both these equation will be satisfied actually this 2 pi added fair is the point in a plane which is the point of intersection of the graph of these two linear function but actually the coordinate of that point which is x is equal to 2 and y equal to 5 will satisfy both these equation because that is the point which lies on the graph of both the functions you clearly see here this is the graph you see this point lies on the graph of both the functions so that point will satisfy both the equation i am putting x equal to 2 and y equal to 5 and 1 and checking that is this point satisfies the equation number 1 let's say this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so par y i am putting 5 par x i am putting 2 so you see that 5 equal to 5 this means that this point is the solution of this in other words you can say this point lies on the graph of the function f of x is equal to x plus 3 and when you plug x equal to 2 and y equal to 5 here so y equal to 5 x 2 and rest of the thing as it is so 5 equal to 4 plus 1 5 equal to 5 so it means that this point which has coordinate 2 and 5 satisfies this equation so that point will also lie on the graph of this function so a point which lies on the graph of this function as well as on the graph of this function are actually the point of intersection so you see from the point of intersection you are getting the solution so that's why this is the so important topic and this is the actual mathematics because every uh, practical problem has some curve when you draw the graph of that practical problem so whenever you are interested to find the solutions so in practical life in uh, real world problems we the the, the 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 equations that you get from the real world problems cannot be solved analytically so we are looking for the graphs and then see to the point of intersection so from there we get the solutions and from that solutions we get idea about the problems of the real world and from that solution we analyze that solution and we get the solution of that real world problem so this topic is such important topic and this is a real mathematics okay so this is the second part the question that is given in exercise 8.3 which is question number six both these parts are your assignments please do this assignment and submit as soon as possible on whatsapp or on email both the whatsapp number and email are already shared with you so 
both have the uh, it is both parts are similar as this one okay now moving towards the last part of this video lecture and the last part of this video lecture is point of intersection of a linear function and quadratic function <clears throat> okay this is the last part of this video lecture in this video okay one point is so important here before to switch towards the third part if the point of intersection is in let's say the point of intersection is 1 by 2 and 7 by 3 let's say it is also possible that a two line intersect each other at this point mean the coordinates are in fraction so finding that using this method you cannot find that so accurately so for that we uh, we are forced to do the analytic method so remember that point also uh, I am explaining that point whenever the point of intersections in the fraction form so it is not so easy in that case when the point of intersections both the coordinates are in fraction form in that case to find exactly the graph cross each other mean the point of intersection we must use algebraic method rather than this graphical method because uh, you need the accurate the exact point of intersection so whenever the coordinates are in uh, fraction form so at that uh, we used some analytic methods and the analytic methods may be the method of substitution that you already know cross multiplication method uh, substitution by elimination uh, sorry elimination by substitution uh, we have so many methods Kramer rules mean you know when you are solving a system of linear equations so you have different rules different methods so then we use that okay now moving towards the third part of this video lecture the third portion of this video lecture is the third part of this video lecture is point of intersection of a linear function and quadratic function so you know the graph of the quadratic function is parabola and graph of the linear function is straight line so you will draw a parabola in a straight line and you will see to the point of intersection so actually let's say y is equal to x plus 1 let's say this is the graph of this function and let's say y equal to x square minus 7x plus 1 let's say we are, I'm giving an example this is the graph of this function so when you are solving this system because when you know two or more than two equations are written collectively so they are called system so when you are solving this system so analytically it it is a little difficult you can find the value of x and y solving this system mean you are finding the value of x and y so mean the solution of this system so uh, if you are solving this graphically so you need to draw the graph of this fun uh, function and the graph of this function so the graph of this function is a straight line the graph of this function is a parabola so the point at which the parabola and straight line intersect each other so this point have some coordinates let's say minus 1 minus 4 and let's say this point have co coordinate 1 and 3 so this is the value of x this is the value of y this is the value of x and this is the value of y so if these points lies on the graph of both the function so these points will satisfy both the function and that will be the solution this is the area so now in third portion we are looking for the point of intersection which is the point of intersection of the parabola and a straight line graphically quadratic functions represent parabola and graphically linear functions represent straight line so first of all for parabola i am constructing a table and then i will construct a table for the uh, linear function so you know the domain of quadratic function is set of real number you clearly see that so for f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 6 the graph of this must be a parabola so i am drawing parabola then i will draw this linear function and then i will look for the point of intersections 
so that point of intersection will be get from the graphs and that is the graphical method so actually those point lies on the graphs are both the functions so those point will be actually the solution for these two equations so actually graphically you are finding the point of intersections but analytically you are getting the solution of this system so this is the alternate method when you are not able to do the analytic methods to get the solution we draw the graphs find the point of intersections and those point of intersections are the solution because the point which lies on the graph of any function will satisfy that function and their corresponding equation so to calculate the values of the y give some values to x from r mean from the domain because the domain of this function is this using this form this form of the given function okay when i plug x equal to minus 2 i will get 18 when i plug x equal to minus 1 i will get 11 when i plug x equal to 0 in this given equation i will get 6 when i plug 1 i will get 3 when i plug 2 i will get 2 when i plug 3 i will get 3 and so on when i plug 4 here I will get 6 when I replace x by 5 in this expression on the right side and calculate. So I will get the value of y equal to 11. So this is the table for the parabola, for this. Then I am uh, looking to draw the graph of this. So I will construct the table for this. So g of x equal to 2x plus 1. The graph of this, uh, the domain of this is also set up real numbers to calculate the values of y. You will give some values to x from their domain and use this form of the given function y equal to 2x plus 1. So replace when I give minus 3 to the value of x here I will get the value of y minus 5 and then I put minus 2 I get minus 3 I put minus 1 here in place of x on the right side of this equation calculate I get minus 1 and so on. Okay you see that 1 3 when I put 1 here I will get 3 when I put 1 here I will get 3 when I put 5 here I will get 11 when I get 5 here I will get 11 so you see that these are the point of intersections this ordered pair 1 3 this ordered pair 5 11 this 1 3 and 5 sorry 5 11 these are the point of intersections of the parabola and straight line and these point of intersections will satisfy both the equation now you see that these both equation x is equal to 1 y equal to 3 x is equal to 5 y equal to 11 because there are two point of intersections from graph you clearly see that when you draw the graph you see this is the point of intersection you clearly see to the graph you can draw these graphs so this is the point of intersections having coordinate 1 and 3 mean the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 3 and this is the point of intersection of the parabola and the straight line mean the graph of this function and the graph of this function so this is the point of intersection so here this is the value of x this is the value of y so these are the point of intersections graphically you clearly see that but these point of intersections you clearly see that lies on both the graphs so both these points will satisfy both the equations so when you write these this system in this form mean instead of if i am writing y so when you plug x equal to 1 and y equal to 3 this equation this equation this system will be satisfied and when you plug x equal to 5 and y equal to 11 this system will also be satisfied so actually you are you find the point of intersections and from that point of intersections you get the solution this is one solution for this system and this is another solution in this case you are getting two solutions because one function is quadratic and the other is linear so you see from the graph the point of intersections are 1 3 and 5 11 so you see actually you are finding the point of intersections and you are getting the solutions of the given system of equations you know a system when two or more than two equations write together they are called system so this is the last topic of this video lecture what are your assignment the questions of exercise 8.3 mean question number six question seven eight nine and so on 
up to last these questions are your assignment uh, these questions are actually related to these topics so i uh, done the examples you need to follow the steps of examples and uh, to do these questions and this chapter is completed here review exercise is the assignment review exercise of chapter number 8 so please solve all the review exercise questions of chapter 8 including mcqs uh, objectives and questions and submit on whatsapp number on for uh, 12 september sorry this is 20 so on the email or on the whatsapp the numbers are given and there is one example that you can also do i am just explaining that example from the book you can do it from the book then okay the statement of the example is it takes a swimmer 2 minutes to swim 24 meter now let's say this is a river let's say this is a river and in this direction let's say in this direction the river flows in this direction the river flows okay so the swimmer take 2 minutes time is t equal to 2 minutes and he covered the uh, to swim 24 meter so he cover the distance of 24 meter okay so the speed of the swimmer is actually the uh speed of the uh, actually the he swims so let's say x is the speed in still water and y is the speed of the flow of water because uh, he swim as well as the water flows in this direction so let's say x is the speed of the swimmer in uh, still water and y is the speed of the flow of the water in this direction he go the same distance at t equal to 4 mean 4 minutes to swim back it takes 2 minutes to swim 24 meter down the stream in the river mean to uh, in the direction of the flow of the water and 4 minutes to swim back find the speed of the flow of the water and the speed that he swim in the still water so let's say speed in the still water is x and the speed of the flow of the water is y so you need to find out x and y so there are two conditions remember speed will be speed downward so when he is swimming downwards mean in the flow of the water so his speed is actually x plus y mean speed of the uh, swimmer in still water plus the speed of the flow of the water and when he swim in the opposite direction mean against the flow of the river the flow of the water in the river so that will be uh, speed of the swimmer minus time speed of the flow of the water because he is swimming in the opposite direction of the flow of the water so you see the first equation according to the given condition he swim in the downward direction mean in the flow of the water cover 24 meter in 2 unit uh, in 2 minute time so time multiplied by speed is equal to distance so 2 multiplied by x plus y is the speed when he is swim downwards mean in the flow of the water equal to 24 and when he swim uh, backward mean against the flow of the water so he cover the distance in 4 minute 
so time multiplied by speed here this is the time x minus y is the speed and the distance he go the same distance he go that is 24 so dividing this equation 1 by 2 so you will get x plus y equal to 12 and this equation by 6 you x minus 1 equal to x minus y equal to 6 so shift x on this side so this is one equation y equal to x minus uh, minus x plus 12 and this is another equation y equal to x plus 6 so now uh, for this equation 1 you draw the table then for equation 2 you draw the table and plot these points of the table in the xy plane you get this point of intersections and the point of intersection is 3 9 May actually 3 9 is the solution so 3 the speed of the swimmer in the still water is 3 meter per minute and the speed of the flow of the water is 9 meter per second you can verify this algebraically you can solve this team uh, this uh, uh, question algebraically so easy clear so uh, you see that this is some of the uh, daily uses of the graphical solution and analytically you can also do it you also do the example number 24 and then this exercise and then the review exercise so this is the complete course uh, the complete video lectures of exercise uh, of chapter number 8 so chapter number 8 is completed please complete your copies and uh, done your uh, do your assignments and uh, then submit it as soon as possible thank you